If you've never seen the ruins of Windsor, you've waited for the perfect time to go, because the Mississippi Department of Archives and History is putting the finishing touches on stabilizing the ruins and making them more accessible with a walking trail all around them. Barry White's the Director of Historic Preservation with Archives and History. Well, I think it's probably one of the most iconic images uh, in the state of Mississippi that, that folks really have um, come to recognize. Windsor is out west of Port Gibson a few miles, and of course if you come through Port Gibson to get to Windsor, then you'll pass another iconic image of Mississippi, the steeple with a hand pointing toward heaven on the Presbyterian Church. There's a whole story itself in the church, and the hand, and Port Gibson too, a town that Grant didn't burn during the Civil War. Although Windsor was standing at the time of the war and Grant's army did camp in the cornfields on their way to Vicksburg, Windsor was spared too. Windsor did eventually burn, however, but it was 30 years after the Civil War in 1893 when a party guest dropped a lit cigarette into a pile of sawdust, and the forlorn columns have cast spells over people who've seen them ever since. They say that was done in 1861. Was it done on site? Or did they haul the metal away here from somewhere? Or? Eudora Welty was intrigued by the ruins. She took many of her famous photos there. The old columns weren't kept up at all in those days. They stood just as the fire had left them. Matter of fact, for about a hundred years, the columns were all we knew about how the house looked. There were no photos or paintings made of it while it was standing, except perhaps one. A researcher in Ohio found this sketch in a Union soldier's diary that he made of Windsor in May of 1863, the only likeness of the house we know of from before the fire. People from all over the world come here. Old woman Ella Hudson was here from Fayette the day I visited. Do y'all have tourists that come through Fayette? We do. We have them all the time. Okay. Where do they come from? All over. The couple just left here. They were from St. Louis. We have people from St. Louis, D.C., Maryland, all places they come. Another iconic location in the area is the old country store at Lorman. Mr. D's the proprietor. He calls his store the unofficial welcome center for Windsor. How many people come through looking for Windsor? One of the most visited sites. Mississippi with the ruins because they even come to change clothes in here to take their, their wedding pictures and stuff. A day trip or a weekend at a B&B &B in Vicksburg or Natchez or Port Gibson, the Windsor ruins. Another gas tank getaway.